Hey guys, I'm sure you are using computer or smartphone in one way or the other. Then you have heard the words bits and bytes, right? You know the RAM of your mobile might be its 4 GB. The MP3 file that you last downloaded was 3.5 MB and the plan that you are using is 40 Mbps. The hard disk drive is 1000 GB. The pen drive you carry is 32 GB. Well guys, that's lots of bits and bytes around us. In this video, I'm going to explain the very elementary basics of bits and bytes, the language that defines the digital world and spoken by machines. We are surrounded in bits and bytes. We are living in a digital world with tons of bits and bytes. They consist of just ones and zeros in enormous combinations. The entire internet which is a galaxy of sorts in itself works on ones and zeros. It's truly interesting and fascinating. Though we have heard about them, negotiated for better smartphones and PCs looking at the capacity of the RAM in gigabytes in it, seldom do we know what exactly is meant by bits and bytes and how do we as users connect with the digital machines. Since childhood, we have learnt our subjects in numbers, English alphabets and characters. And not just few, but lots of them. And they formulated the entire learnings and understanding we have on the various tasks we perform today. We write using English alphabets and decimal numbers to express our thoughts. We had learnt entire mathematics using numbers from 0 to 9. Well, that is decimal format. We count our currency in decimal format. We get our salary paid in decimal value. We write emails in English alphabets and characters. That is the language we understand. We learnt our way while the digital computers were developed based on binary system. How do they understand our language? Well, it is an interesting discussion. The computers around us are very different and understand only two values 0 and 1. Well, that is binary format which we know as machine language in the digital world. We need not worry about knowing the binary language before operating a computer. Computers would do that for us. Computers convert text and other data into binary by using an assigned ASCII value. ASCII is a standard that assigns letters, numbers and other characters to an equivalent decimal value. So once the ASCII value is known, that value can be converted into binary. While you press 5 into the keyboard of your computer, it converts 5 into zeros and ones to process it. Well, that happens for every transaction. Similarly, every alphabet from A to Z or characters like star, colon have an equivalent value in zeros and ones and that translation is happening all the time in the processor of the computer. Like in the screen here, character hash is represented by 035 in decimal and 001 in binary. Let us recap the decimal format that we all use. Since there are total 10 possible digits in a decimal format from 0 to 9, it works on a base 10 system. We can also write them as powers of base 10 as per the position from the right side. Right most position digit is at a decimal position of 0. The second right is at a decimal position 1. Therefore, we can write these positions from right side as base of 10 to the power 0 base of 10 to the power 1 and base of 10 to the power 2 and so on thereby increasing the value by 10 places as we move towards the left. Let us take an example of decimal number 1, 2, 3, 4 and apply the above digit position based logic. The rightmost digit in 1, 2, 3, 4 is 4 so it takes the position 0. Likewise digit 3 takes position 1, digit 2 takes position 2 and digit 1 takes position 3 respectively. The base 10 value for position 0 is 1, position 1 is 10, position 2 is 100 and position 3 is 1000 respectively as can be seen in the slide. The values of the digits at their respective positions are added to arrive at the final sum of 1, 2, 3, 4 which is the same number we took as an example. Now the computer understands only two values 0 and 1. Like a cycle has two wheels and we call it a bicycle. Similarly, we name the two values of zeros and ones as binary system, derived from Latin word binarius meaning the two together. The individual value of zero or one is called bit. Different combinations of zeros and ones would represent different decimal numbers, English alphabets and characters. Let us understand this with an example. 
consider the combination 1101. It can be understood in the same manner as we learnt in decimal format. The base 10 is replaced with base of 2 here as there are only two possible states 0 and 1. The rightmost position is represented by base of 2 to the power 0, second right as 2 to the power 1, third right as 2 to the power 2 and so on. The resultant value of the binary combination 1101 can be worked out in the same manner as we did in the decimal system. After getting the respective values for the binary bit positions as base of 2, we multiply the respective value by the bit value of that position and add all of them together to get the equivalent decimal value. So the binary number 1101 represents the decimal equivalent 13. Bit is generally represented by small letter b. Combinations of 8 bits is called byte which is mostly written as capital letter B. When there are huge number of bits, we use the prefixes like kilo, mega, giga, etc. to make it reasonably easy to write and manage. Normally kilo means 1000, but in digital world it's equivalent to 1024 as binary is a base 2 system and 1024 is nearest to 1000 which is base 2 to the power 10. So that is the reason for kilo to be 1024 and not 1000 in binary world. Next on the block is mega which is 1024 kilo and giga which is 1024 mega. One gigabyte is thus equivalent to 8.58 billion bits. Let us understand the bits and bytes in terms of the kind of data we engage with. Like an audio file of 5 megabyte would mean that the song that you listen would contain 41 million bits. Likewise an internet plan of 40 megabits per second would actually mean that the link from the subscriber's router to the internet can support 40 megabits of data transfer per second. So to download 500 megabyte of file, it would take precisely 100 seconds assuming the subscriber gets average speed as per the plan. That's real quick. Based on the information that I have shared so far, you can check your learnings. It's optional. I hope that you have liked the elementary basic concepts about the binary system that is bits and bytes. Kindly hit the like button in case you have liked it. Please do subscribe to my channel to have a look at all my existing videos. There are many more planned topics that will be shared in near future. The name of the channel on YouTube is Tele Edu Consulting. You can also visit my page Tele Edu at School of Telecommunications on Facebook. Thanks for your time to watch the video. God bless.